Hi, I'm Sunny, and this is my podcast, Creator Created Creating, short and sweet mindset shifts for intentional life creation. process the tricky bits. (laughs) Um, So I thought I'd talk a little bit about how I process the tricky bits, which by that I'm referring to the hard, the harder to feel stuff, the harder to process stuff, the contrast, the tension, but different people call it different things, pain, doubt, fear. It shows up in a lot of ways, but I'm going to call it the tricky bits because that helps me already to reframe it and to step back from it. It already gives me a little bit of more space, a little bit more space than it would be if I call it something a little heavier in name. So I'm just going to call it the tricky bits, even though sometimes it feels like the horribly painful bits. (laughs) Because there's a real power in naming, and I'm going to do a different episode on that. But um, So that's why I'm calling it that. And I wanted to share a little bit about what I do when that comes up. So this morning, I recognized that feeling come over me. I was just sitting here. I was just doing a couple of things. And all of a sudden, I had this full body feeling of... um, What's the best word? Like dread I don't think it was dread it was fear it was fear like all of a sudden I was awash with fear that something bad was going to happen and this happens sometimes and I recognized in that moment that there hadn't been any big drama for a while things were feeling relatively peaceful and easy lately and my body was saying this isn't safe. (laughs) We need to prepare because something bad is probably going to happen. So that is a normal conditioned physiological response based on things that have happened in our past. And probably most of us have this in our wiring that if things are going well, or there hasn't been a lot of turbulence for a while, or you're feeling at ease or at peace, or even if you're having a lot of fun and enjoying yourself and expressing yourself in the world as I have been lately, more than usual, then you may be all of a sudden this feeling will come over your body of like, oh, like, I'm going to get in trouble here. And it's not like you logically think you're going to get in trouble, but you just have this feeling like something bad is going to happen. I feel like something bad is going to happen. And that's because you're expecting some kind of retribution, some kind of punishment, something bad to happen for good things happening. And that's based on a whole lot of stuff, which I go into in my courses and I go into in my books a lot more, but I'm not going into that today because I don't want to analyze that Um, right now. What I want to do is just share with you how I quickly and more effortlessly have learned to process those things. Now, from this stage where I'm at now, in the past, it was helpful for me to get to the bottom of things and to analyze them and to understand them more. And now I'm at the stage where that's not working for me anymore. And that's not serving me anymore. And that doesn't make the past bad. It's doesn't make another way bad. It doesn't make this way right. It doesn't make another way wrong. There is no right or wrong. It's just like, what's working for me right now? And I just pay attention to that. So what's working for me right now is to just notice that feeling. So I notice, oh, I'm awash with this feeling. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I'm afraid something bad is going to happen, but I don't know what. Uh, Nothing particular is coming to mind. I mean, my mind's already starting to come up with things that could happen, but just kind of this feeling like 
it was nothing like terrible. It wasn't terrible anxiety, but just like this something's, I don't feel safe all of a sudden. I don't feel safe. So then I just recognized that. And I just kind of took a broad view. I just kind of stepped back, took a broader view, a higher view, you could say a broader view, and just kind of looked at this emotion for what it is. And already naming it helps. Like, oh, I'm feeling this. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm feeling this. So already that's a little bit of space. So already I'm not in it. Already I'm looking at it. And there's a little bit of space between me and it, which is a huge relief already. But it's still there. But so the next thing to do is I don't push against it. I don't need to get rid of this. Because as soon as I start like this shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be feeling this. This should not be happening. I need to get rid of this feeling. This is really uncomfortable. As soon as I do that, then I'm, it's, I'm tangled up in it. It's like struggling in the quicksand. (laughs) It'll suck you in even more. So I don't, I don't do that. I, I just stay with it. I let it be. And then what I personally do is I speak to it with kindness. Oh, I see. You're not feeling safe. That's okay. You want to feel safe. Of course you want to feel safe. Okay. You're allowed to feel safe. Of course you want to feel safe. I understand. So I just speak to myself with love. I speak to that part, that feeling with love. And I just let it be there. I don't say, you can go now. I don't try to push it out in any way. Not with my words and not with my energy. I just kind of let it be there and I let myself feel it, knowing that it's not me, it's an experience. It comes and it's go and it goes. And if I'm having a r- real trouble, then I'll remind myself of other times when I had this feeling and I thought it would never go or I thought it would lead to something that would just be horrible and it did not. If I need that, I'll do that, but usually I'll just try to stay with the feeling itself, the feeling in my body. What is the quality of this feeling and just let it be. And speak to it with a little bit of kindness. Give it love basically. And I teach this in all of my courses and all of my offerings, if you've been in there, that you meet, you simply meet the resistance, you meet the tricky bits, you meet the feelings that you don't want to feel with love and acceptance, because that is the only thing that transforms them truly and transforms your relationship with them. And your relationship with yourself, it is a kind of magic I cannot even describe to you the power of, but it seems deceptively simple that all you need to do is bring love, even when you don't feel very loving because you're feeling some contrast in you, you're feeling the tension in you, you're feeling that pain in you, you don't want to feel it. Even though it doesn't feel like you're being genuine to say, I love it, then you can just say, I accept this, or you can just not even speak it. But just recognize, okay, here it is. Here it is. And already that's a little bit of space, a little bit of step back. So I just wanted to share that in case that's helpful to you. And I would love to hear about your own process of meeting the tricky bits. So feel free to share that with me at Sunny Chapman at SunnyChapman.com if you care to. All right. See you next time. Thanks for joining me today. And if you'd like to find out more about me and my work, you can find me at sunnychapman.com.